one man apparently didn't learn his lesson about messing with rattlesnakes. I think I got a third one down here because there was three holes. My hand started looking like a balloon. Samuel Evans was hiking in White Tank Mountain Regional Park outside of Phoenix, Arizona, when he saw a rattlesnake on the trail. He tried to move it away with a stick, but that snake did not want to be disturbed. And it got hung up in a bush, and then the stick slipped off of it, and he spun around and bit me. This was not the first time this has happened to Evans. So he went to the hospital where he was treated with antivenom. But that didn't work out as planned. And I ended up having an allergic reaction to it. But the hospital, Banner University Medical Center, had something else up its sleeve. But it's the first time it's been given uh, since it's been to market. Dr. Aaron O'Connor gave Evans a new antivenom, which not only can work on people with allergic reactions to other antivenom, but it can last longer in the body to work on traces of rattlesnake venom left behind. Evans was in good hands. Coincidentally, they are the same hands that treated him when a rattlesnake bit him 14 years ago. You promised me you weren't going to handle snakes again. Here's hoping Evans keeps that promise this time. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.